Hi there guys and gals. Well, camera here, but something a bit different because this is a trail cam. I get a bit of wildlife around where I live and I've tried various motion sensing devices, but this PRC 1200 from Banggood was just around the 20 quid mark. But one of the things that attracted me to it mostly was the fact that it only needs four AA batteries, whereas quite a few I've seen need eight and run on 12 volts. This will actually run on five volts, which means you can run it from a USB power supply or a, or a power pack. I've had it for a few days now, tested it. So let's take a closer look and see if it's actually worth buying. Right, so let's take a look at what you get here. Obviously you get the camera, you get a strap so that you can strap this to a, a tree or something or, or a post. You get this little gadget here, which is a microcard reader that plugs into your PC so that you can actually see what, what video or pictures you've captured. It's not supplied with a card, but the card goes in this way. Plug it in, it will open as an external storage and you can see what files you captured. Alternatively, you could buy an OTG cable plug this reader into that and plug into your phone and look at the files. It doesn't come with a card. I've been using an old class one four gig microcard that I had kicking around. Works fine with that. And I did actually have some success with the 64, but you're safe with the 32. I'll put a link down below to where you can buy cards. And of course, USB cable, which wasn't great. It was such a tight fit. I used another one and I've seen other people commenting that the cables the USB supplied isn't very good but it's micro USB. You can get it in but it was just difficult to get it in with the case closed. But it did work. Anyway and of course you get a user manual which is actually pretty good. I'll go a bit further into the user manual in a second but let's take a look at the camera. You've got I think it's 38 infrared LEDs because the night vision was very good. I've got some test clips coming up. That's the lens. It's 52 degree point of view lens and the PIR, that's the sensor there, has a 60 degree field of view. So it will capture anything within that 60 degree field of view. And they claim 15 meters PIR. That's about 50 foot, shall we say. I did find it was actually pretty sensitive to movement. Uh, you'll see in my clip there where I where I was pretending to be a burglar. It's waterproof to IP something or other. Trigger time 0.8 seconds, which means there's a slight pause before it starts recording. Some of these are quicker, but I mean, this is 20 pounds. So I guess it's not, you know, you can pay four times that much quite easily. Opening it up, you can see there's a little ceiling gasket there and space of four AA batteries. I was hoping I'd be able to use AA rechargeables, but rechargeables only give you 1.2 volts. And four of those would give you 4.8. It actually does need five volts, to which end it will work from a power supply. And the way I used it was, because I don't like shelling out for dry cell batteries, was I used a power pack, turned on, turned on my power pack, and basically it would stand by for probably days on that power pack until, until it gets some motion. That worked really well, I must say. That's the on-off switch. It just slides across one way or the other. Microcard goes in that way, push in, turn on, either with batteries in, or as I mentioned, power supply plugged in once you've closed it. And it will stand by forever, waiting for some motion. When you do close it, give it a squeeze to compress the gasket. It is a bit tricky getting these USBs in through the little waterproof slot especially the one that was supplied because it was tight but it will go in and of course because it's at the bottom obviously if it's mounted the right way up rain won't get in there oh and as far as the case goes i mentioned you can strap it to a tree it's got a tripod mount there which means you could use it with a gorilla pod or something like that screw it on mount it where you like basically hang it on a fence do what you want with it so the design of it is fine i thought the images considering the price it will certainly do the job and actually work well as a security camera too. It had good range. The IR night vision was, was, it, was very good. Tested it in pitch black. Clips are coming up, but before we get to that, I'll mention how you change settings. Well, read the manual. First time you ever use it, you'll find a file on there that says time text. It's a text file, TXT. Now that opens in Windows in Notepad. I'll show you it here. It's got 
on the left hand side the date it's got in the middle the time and on the right it's got default is 332 and a Y now those are the code that tell it whether it's going to take photos video and how long the video is going to be it's not difficult you could leave it on default which is three photos photo and video and 10 seconds of video I did edit mine it's easy enough edit it save it um, format the card and put it back on and next time it fires up you will change that and also you can change the date time that way if you're not fussed just leave it as it is if it's too complicated but it isn't difficult to do what else to say what do they say oh they say video 10 1080 well if that's 1080 I'll eat my squirrel but it's good enough for you to be able to see what kind of wildlife is going through your garden if you're curious and from my point of view if I want decent pictures or video then I use a proper camera and that just about covers it so anyway what did I think of it overall I was pleased with it I mean for I wasn't really prepared to spend 60 or 80 pounds for a camera that's really just for a bit of fun but for 20 quid worth it and if you were going to buy one as a security camera I think it would be a pretty good investment so hope you found this useful I think it's worth the money video quality is not bad by the way it records sound as well if you have found it useful check out some of the other stuff on my channel and why not hit subscribe and more stuff wildlife tech stuff the uh, sailing flying uh, all kinds of stuff you name it it's there but that's it here are the chess clips